Hey guys, this is a comparison video between the Note 20 Ultra in one hand, iPhone 11 Pro Max in the other. We've got a lot of comparing to do. Of course, let's first switch the mics from one phone to the other so you can compare how the sound recording works. Of course, video quality as well. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about the quality of each phone. And let's keep going because it's gonna be a long day. That's a selfie with both cameras in wide angle mode. Both really do look great, though the Galaxy made us a bit more yellowish, but that's nitpicking. Just a one-man selfie in narrow angle mode. This is indoors and I kind of like the iPhone shot a bit better, it has a livelier skin tone. This is a selfie portrait and I just... Uh, I've got no comments, these both look just so identical. Here the iPhone turned up slightly yellowish, but you need to squint to see it. Now let's check out some photos. And with scene 1 we already have our work cut out for ourselves. Details and dynamics are great, but you sit on it for a while and you will notice that the Note 20 Ultra photo is a bit more vibrant than the iPhone 11 Pro photo, where the colors are a bit more subdued. Moving on to scene 2. There isn't much color in this one, but you can definitely see exceptional dynamics from both phones, really clear and sharp details. The water looks so beautiful in both images, I want to dive right into the picture. Both seem to be doing pretty well. Fast, snap on focus. Okay, so the Note has that crazy zoom but on video it can only zoom up to 20 times the iphone 11 pro max can only go up to six times so let's go on the iphone first going up to six now going up to six on the note 20 ultra and now we're gonna go all the way up to 20. This is 10 times zoom and you can very clearly see how the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra's zoom outclasses the iPhone with a lot more sharpening and a lot less noise. Again, very tough comparison to make. You will notice that the red color on the boat is just a bit more dialed up on the Note 20 Ultra photo. The model's skin also appears a bit more healthy, he looks quite pale on that iPhone shot. These are ultra-wide lenses. We took this shot just to show how the ultra-wide cameras on both phones are calibrated to be the same as their respective main cameras. And you can definitely see that, pretty much the same colors here. Believe it or not, that's another ultra-wide camera shot. Great work from both phones in handling the dynamics, the sky is visible and the dark areas around the bush leaves are still well exposed. They are a smidgen brighter on the Note 20 Ultra. I have to give this one to the iPhone 11 Pro Max. It just captured the reliefs and indentations in the statue much better, giving it a very good representation of its real-life shapes. It just looks a bit flat on the Note 20 Ultra. Let's just test the stabilization for a bit. Just a simple brisk walk, nothing you wouldn't do in your normal everyday life. Just maybe walk in the doggo. Shaking around a bit. Let's speed up. Now I'm gonna throw a few intentional shakes in there. And we'll see how it all turns out. Not much to say here, great work from both phones. I am not a fan of the sky's color on the Note 20 Ultra picture. It's almost neon-ish. It needs to be dialed down a little. Now that is taken with portrait mode on the iPhone and live focus on the Galaxy. You will see that the iPhone messed up. There is a little space between my arm and my body which shows the rocks in the background, but the iPhone did not blur those as it should have. The Note 20 Ultra caught that and applied its blur appropriately. Alright guys, here is a quick video with the Note 20 Ultra and iPhone 11 Pro Max. Nighttime footage. Come. 
this is at night with night mode off. There's just no comparison, the Samsung still managed to expose a great deal. I am no fan of the saturated greens on the leaves, but otherwise the Note 20 Ultra wins here. That's the same scene, but night mode is on. Again, the Note 20 photo is brighter, but the iPhone 11 Pro picture is certainly not bad. Night mode is off here, you'll see that the Galaxy still manages to take a fantastic photo. Same thing with the night mode on. I am not sure which one I like better. Yes, the Note 20 Ultra photo looks brighter, but it almost has that daytime look despite that the photo is taken in the middle of the night. The iPhone 11 Pro Max managed to capture the nighttime look and colors a bit better. Night mode is off. The iPhone 11 Pro photo is kind of noisy and soft, while the Samsung photo is just popping. This time around, the iPhone did something weird with the exposure and the picture looks kind of washed out. This uh, was taken with the ultra-wide cameras in night time, you can notice some pretty stark differences here. Well, you can't really notice anything on the iPhone photo, but you get what I mean. Good exposure from both phones, but you'll notice that the Note 20 Ultra didn't exactly focus on the doggo here. Uh, well, it was a challenging shot with all the lights in the background and whatnot. Scene 21 looks good from both phones. The Note 20 image is a lot warmer, I'd say that the iPhone was more accurate with the colors here, these lights really don't look that yellow in real life. Scene 22, a challenging shot with lots of glowing LED lights and things that can go wrong. I have to say both phones did absolutely fantastic. This is portrait mode at night. A very challenging shot indeed, not only is it dark with lots of lights in the background to mess with the focus, but also it's not a human face. The note did slightly better here as the details on the dog look a bit softer with the iPhone picture. This selfie was taken in a very dark area, both phones struggled a lot with amping up the ISO and then cleaning up the noise, which is why my face looks a bit messed up. I swear, I'm not that scary in real life. Uh, I think. Same scenario, very dark corner trying to take a selfie, as you would. And again we have very similar results from both phones. And that about does it, which one of these phones is your phone? Let us know in the comments down below. Drop a like if you liked this video, hey maybe drop a sub, I'll have a foot long. See you next time.